This is KFDI Country. 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 Hey, what's going on, gang? J.J. Hayes, the Hayes Wire, and uh, it's all about PBR, Blue Death, Velocity in town. In fact, they're trucking in the dirt uh, pretty much as we speak. And uh, speaking with one of the Cowboys, we say hello to uh, Brian Tipman. Hello, Brian. How are you? I'm excellent, thank you. Welcome to Wichita. Welcome to the Radio Ranch. Appreciate you stopping by. Oh, thanks for having me. All right, straighten something out for me now, because uh, TCU, football scholarship, yet that wasn't your path. That wasn't your passion. What was that moment of clarity where you realized, yeah, you know what? I don't want to get hit by linebackers. I want to I want to go ahead and uh, ride a gigantic bull. Well, I just didn't see myself getting any bigger than what I am, so I'd just rather get on bulls instead of getting hit all day. You're a, you're a brave individual. All right, so uh, baseball. You said it wasn't uh, enough of an andre- adrenaline rush for you. It wasn't exciting enough for you. So, okay, outside of the bull riding, let's sh- uh, you're, you're on your own time, you know, hanging out. What's an adrenaline rush for you? I mean, is it skydiving? Is it doing your taxes without a calculator? What, what gets you excited? I ride a bunch of dirt bikes. Really? Yes, sir. Dude, I, I was like seven. First dirt bike I was ever on was a little 50cc thing. Had no idea what I was doing. Scared the bejesus out of me. It took off on me. <laughs> ne- haven't ridden one since. So uh, you, you like to do that when you're not riding bulls. Yeah, I love that. I mean, that's... Uh, just outside of bull riding it's a big adrenaline you never know what's going to happen and it's something that's got a mind of its own just a motor so it's just it's awesome yeah but it is all about the bull riding for sure did you have like a starter animal i mean you know because bulls don't come with training wheels did you uh how did you start what did you ride on first that got you got you hooked on it well when i was little i got on sheep but most when i was little i just got on horses my parents we owned horses and i got on a bunch of that and decided just that's what i wanted to do now come on i've heard stories you also used to ride your brother around the living room Oh, uh, yeah, I did that. <laughs> did that quite a bit. <laughs> I don't talk much about that anymore, but, yeah, I, I rode my brother around the living room. We'd watch PBR on TV, and I'd turn it on, and just I'd make him be a bull every single chance, and he'd want to switch, and I was like, no, I'm the bull rider, so he didn't really like that too much. You stay on your brother for eight seconds? Oh, uh, every time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what matters. All right, so let's talk about that eight seconds. It is a crazy eight seconds. Uh, 87 points on, on Crazy Horse, for instance. Take me through a ride like that from start to finish in that eight seconds. What's going through your head? What are the mechanics you're working through? Uh, you don't really want to think too much. You just kind of keep it kind of level-headed and just go at it as jump for jump. And that bull right there was a great bull. Uh, actually, a guy that lives next to me just bought him, so he's not too far from my house. I go over there and get on for practice now, so it just makes it even better. Yeah, you just climb on a gi- giant bull for, for practice because, you know, when you're bored. All right, so y- there's no doubt you're, you're, full of, uh, you're full of toughness. I mean, you sweat it, you bleed it. Uh, but what's this about a hip injury? You broke your hip, came back. They said it was supposed to take two years. You came back in like six months. Yes, sir. I broke my hip and pelvis. It was 85% of my hip, and I broke my pelvis completely in half. I had a bull slip over around me in a small town in Texas at a little rodeo, and just I was supposed to be out for over two years, and I, I really hustled back and really did everything I could. I went out and mowed the yard like as soon as I got out of the hospital because I don't like I don't really like stuff growing and getting wild. So, yeah, I just knocked it out in six months, and I'm just blessed to be back. You can hear the grass growing. You're like me, man. If it gets a little too high, <laughs> you got to take that lawnmower out. Now, uh, let's talk about the safety of bull riding. I mean, uh, how important is it to you that the sport has grown as far as uh, s- safety measures they've taken? Oh, I think it's an awesome deal. I mean, we everyone needs to wear a helmet nowadays. I mean, we still have a few guys that wear that you know, hat because that's just the cowboy motto. They just live by that lifestyle. I think it's awesome. We got this now. It protects you a little more. The chaps are just nice showy, and it just gives a little bit to give off. But it's come a long way, and, I mean, it's just going to continue to grow. All right, PBR Blue Death Velocity Tour tomorrow in Trust Bank Arena. Uh, to that person who has always wanted to go but has never really kind of pulled the trigger on it, what would you tell them watching this video right now to get them on down into a seat? I um, mean, you're going to see everything. It's just like going to a rock concert or just going to, like, something, a bunch of fireworks for 4th of July. You're going to see music. It's going to be super loud. You're going to have awesome bull riding going on. You just can't miss it. It's for every age. All right, Brian Tittman, uh, thank you for stopping by. Uh, safety to you tomorrow. Have a great ride, and uh, have a great show, all right? Oh, thanks. I appreciate it for having me.